Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Nina and this is a pick a card reading to see what's happening for you in the next 7 to 10 days. It's a weekly guidance and weekly energy reading. So let's take a look at your options. We have option number one with sodalite. We have the small sunstone with option number two. And then we have um, carnelian. So pick the pile you're feeling most drawn to. And if you need more time, pause the video here and I'll see you in your timestamps. Hi pile one, for those of you who were drawn to the soda light, I'm hearing for you divine intervention, okay? Um, yeah, so there is some kind of an epiphany coming to you or some kind of answer, but as a result of it, something that was perhaps stuck is moving forward or you're getting the clarity or the answer that you were seeking, okay, due to this divine intervention. Another thing that I am hearing is that something that was out of balance is now coming back into balance due to this intervention. So let's see what uh, Lenormand cards have to say. What does pile number one need to know? Okay. So we have the book, the birds, and we have the moon. All right. And we also have the ship. Bottom of the deck, we have the sun. Okay. So the book can be about mysteries, about knowledge, about uh, learning something or teaching something. And in this case, I do feel like there is a revelation that is taking place, okay? Some kind of secret is now coming to light, is what I feel. It's being illuminated and also with that message of getting unstuck, you know. Sometimes the book can indicate that something was a little bit stuck or you were in the unknown about some some situation and now because things are coming to light they are moving forward okay now there could be an invitation i feel some kind of a proposal or offer to travel for some of you so this could be long distance travel this could be you know even uh messages coming from a distance to you okay and with the moon there i feel like this is a at a personal level it is more of you know something that affects you personally may not be professional in that sense but um, I also feel like this has something to do with you know your wishes what you have been pining for what you've been hoping for that sort of thing so there is an important message or some communication coming through which may have something to do either with your business or with overseas or um some kind of information that you were seeking that helps you move forward that helps you get unstuck is now coming forth and there could very well be an element here of travel okay that could be involved as well or at the very least distance okay let's see what your tarot card suggests we have page of wands yeah so communication coming through six of wands and we have the moon interesting so you have the moon twice here this feels definitely like you know the moon is connected to our subconscious and it is connected to our feelings as well Whatever it is, even if it is a professional, you know, situation, um, I feel like it's something that that really touches you at a deep soul level. It is something that brings about emotional fulfillment. And the moon in Lenormand has to do with your sense of reputation, your sense of recognition as well interestingly you have the six of wands here which is connected to recognition and rewards 
For some of you, I feel like there are some hidden talents that are coming to the surface. You're exploring something, you're trying out something or you're putting it out there despite fears. Okay, you may have a fear of I'm not good enough or I'm not perhaps ready for this. You may have some inhibitions about showing off some kind of a talent or gift that you have. But you would be surprised to see that people actually receive that really, really well. So if you have such uh, an idea or an initiative that you want to take, this is a really good week for that, okay? Because the ship again implies movement forward and it's very good for business as well. So you are going to receive success. You are going to get recognized especially for your gifts your talents your passions or something that you have um, a knack for i'm hearing okay it could be even you know you making an announcement or you teaching something and it could have something to do with maybe spirituality your intuitive gifts your psychic abilities okay whatever it is i feel like it's 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 a like a deep um, soul it's something that enriches your soul okay so it could be very well in the realm of gifts talents abilities some hobbies or something that you are really like shining at okay it's got your unique stamp on it but uh, you're overcoming any sort of inhibitions that you may have, any fears. And you'll be really present, pleasantly surprised as to how well you are received when you put yourself out there. And another thing I'm getting here is that there is an opportunity coming your way, okay? Which definitely bodes really well for success, for recognition, rewards um there's a celebration that is happening as a result of this communication or message coming to you and it's it's also what i'm getting here is with these two moon cards it is the completion of a phase of a cycle in which you've had to do a lot of reflection you've had to face a lot of you know your uh, inner demons you could say your inhibitions your fears and now you're not afraid to to put yourself out there to be out there and to either share what you know in terms of some sort of wisdom or knowledge or even perhaps um, you know get engaged in some kind of activity or hobby if it's not for professional reasons uh, it is going to be received well okay let's see your other cards here yeah you have spirit dancer this is all about being inspired you know dancing to your soul song <laughs> okay dancing to your own rhythm to your own beat and feeling inspired feeling creative this is a highly creative week for you so I would say whatever intuitive nudges you're getting as well, um, they're going to be really strong, first of all, too strong for you to ignore. And secondly, um, just go with them, okay? Just trust that. Trust your inner voice because it is showing you a unique path ahead that you are meant to take and you're meant to shine in, all right? We have fork in the road, number 13, which is the death card in tarot. Here and now, number 32, which is five, okay. We have here hippopotamus, assertive, truthful and managing your greatness. Interesting. This is about honoring yourself, I feel. That is what I'm getting. Honoring your truth, honoring who you are, honoring your power. And with hippopotamus, you know, it reminds me of that phrase of, you know, having thick skin. 
not caring about what somebody else might think about you anymore you just want to dance you know like they say dance like no one's watching that sort of thing cuz it's undeniable this calling or this urge this intuitive nudge is undeniable and you will want to put it to action okay to take initiative or if it's an opportunity that is coming your way it is going to be quite uniquely you okay so it is meant to really fit your criteria for success if that makes sense let's see your last card we have spiritual practice making time for your spiritual practice will assist you with clearing your mind and restoring your inner peace and there's a lot of this crown chakra and third eye chakra energy here which again indicates inspiration uh visualization having a vision for yourself being inspired being open to suggestions from spirit from the divine uh it's not coming from outside of you it's coming from within of course but you may be a bit indecisive about you know what to explore next or at the very least you've come to a a crossroads okay such that what i'm hearing is you're willing to now experiment you're willing to initiate something new you're willing to try out something okay and like i said you will be pleasantly surprised as to how well it is taking off okay or how well it is um received and with the hippopotamus here managing your greatness what i feel is whatever this is whether it is you sharing some kind of knowledge that you have or you know taking your creative pursuit seriously taking your gifts your talents seriously it has been underplayed so far it's been lying beneath the surface that's also the moon's energy which is you know in that stillness in that quiet time um it allows whatever it is that is beneath the surface to rise above for it to be visible but the moon energy is very subtle so you will get hints you'll see signs or you'll see or you'll hear that in a voice which is more or less a whisper it's not really it's not like the ego's voice and it is very much connected to your intuitive abilities your spiritual abilities and practices and your dreams as well okay whatever it is i feel like these are some god given talents or gifts that you haven't fully explored yet this week you will find the strength to go forth and to take on that path okay because it's something that you're really passionate about it may even be something that you have received recognition for previously but there may be still that lingering sense of self doubt you know like is this really good enough for me to perhaps put it on a platform or you know apply for that job or whatever the case is and this week you're overcoming that sense of doubt okay because that voice of intuition is a lot louder this week than your voice of ego and self doubt and criticism and you're letting go of any sort of past inhibitions that may have held you back you're paying attention to the now being in the present and seeing where this this takes you okay and what i'm also hearing is that whatever it is that you're engaging in okay this creative pursuit or hobby or talent or gift whatever you're exploring it could be you even researching something that you're really passionate about it takes it brings you back to the present because it's so engaging and that's when you know you're in the flow that's the spirit dancer's message as well okay that's beautiful so let's see what do we have here in terms of relationships and love life 
group number one relationships and love life okay we have like attracts like if you long for more love be more loving you attract what you are we have true love this love is once in a lifetime and lastly we have consider your foundation look at how committed you are to love so this could be actually you attracting a soulmate connection or someone who has this promise of true love and someone who you can possibly build a strong foundation with bottom of the deck we have i love you so possibly for some of you this is uh, a deepening of a connection or you attracting somebody new if you're single and it it's got this fantasy element also to it i feel like you're you're dreaming about you're thinking about what it would be like to have this uh secure foundation with this person what it would be like to have perhaps a family with this person okay very interesting um that's where i leave you group number one i hope you have a lovely week ahead do take care of yourself and i'll see you again later bye bye Hi group 1. I'm sorry group 2. <laughs> For those of you who chose this sunstone, let's take a look at your reading. So, we're going to start with Lenormand cards. What does group number 2 need to know? About the week ahead, the next 7 to 10 days, what do we need to know about group number 2? Shining brightly, confidence. Solar plexus energy. We've got the ring. Okay. Ooh. We have the heart. This is getting interesting. We have the cross. And let's get one more. Okay, two more. The ship and the tower. Bottom of the deck, we have the book. Okay. It could actually be so the ring and the heart are definitely connected to relationships okay and there may have been some challenges some difficulties in the past in a particular relationship which is now being resolved or you're moving on from that situation or if there were you know if there was some strife perhaps you're finding a resolution for it but for some of you i feel like there is some sort of past life or karmic connection that is in focus this week and it may be that you're meeting somebody new okay or you have already met somebody and you were perhaps not sure about this person in this upcoming week i feel like you're gonna find out why you met this person okay i don't know why i'm getting these kind of messages but that's what i'm channeling here it feels very much like a karmic soulmate past life connection okay and this person may be at a distance from you or you may have met them while traveling or you may be traveling to see them or at the very least uh, you know there is a sense of longing the sense of missing like between you all okay and this doesn't feel like a new connection it feels more like somebody you already know but there's a deepening of this connection but there is some something very mysterious about this as well but with the heart and the ring there this is a deep sort of uh, almost committed sort of partnership or connection or relationship okay and uh, yeah it, it feels very karmic to me definitely so that's in focus for you this week and we'll find out more okay let's see what's happening with uh, your tarot cards
for some of you this could also be connected to like a journey you're taking to or you know an organization that is at a distance from you uh, but it is whatever the case is it is a destined sort of contract or agreement or partnership or relationship okay that's what i'm getting like it's meant to be that sort of thing yeah <laughs> speaking of past lives we have judgment five of wands and the ace of wands yeah so some of you have had some bickering maybe some obstacles some strife you know some burden that you have been carrying within a relationship this is the week where it gets released okay this could also be somebody uh and don't hate me for saying this this could be somebody from the past wanting to see you wanting to reconnect with you wanting to uh reignite some kind of a passionate relationship that you had with this person and wanting to revive a situation and maybe resolve some kind of a conflict that you've had with this person you know uh just uh argumentative uh situation okay that you've had to overcome and we are in the spirit of mercury retrograde so this doesn't surprise me it could very well be uh an opportunity to revive a connection from the past okay and for others of you this is you heading in the direction of reviving something else okay which is like your heart's desire it is something that you're really really passionate about so it could be um something that involves also a lot of competition maybe you have this you're very passionate about a particular uh field of work or a hobby or a creative pursuit and this week you get an opportunity to revive that okay either this opportunity is coming to you or you're initiating it because you're feeling it deep down like this is you know a calling for me i need to explore this despite the competition or despite the uh obstacles that i may face i want to move ahead and initiate this and uh, it definitely has something to do with um uh, your past life or your past in in some way in the sense that this may be something that you've tried before but you may have you know it may have gone to the wayside for some reason and this is a time where you review it you assess it and you're like okay let's give this another shot okay because there's undeniable passion here you've got scorpionic energy you've got aries leo sag so This is a lot of passion, okay? A lot of passion. Let's see other cards and we'll get more clarity. Okay. Oh, we have the Piper. very enchanting seductive sort of energy let's see your other cards we've got the thinker number 44 to the sea number 7 interesting so you have uh, an angel number here with number 44 and you have to the sea in which there's a boat and we have the ship card here So you're heading in the right direction even if it may not feel that way right now. What's interesting is the tower is the card of the past, okay? It holds a lot of meaning in that sense. Uh and with the ship there it's almost like you're traveling to the past or a place from the past or in the direction of the past. You're revisiting the past in some way. Okay? And 
you may not feel sure about this but it is definitely something that is pulling you in its direction like the the piper you know it reminds me of the pied piper it's like this tune it's this song that is irresistible or this charm that a person holds perhaps which is seductive which pulls you in which uh, draws you in right so that is something that you're facing this week and with the thinker here this is something that has occupied your mind a lot i feel or it could be a person that has occupied your mind a lot it's taken up a lot of your mental space all right you've got shining star it is time for you to take front and center stage this reminds me of aquarius and number 17 is the star card in tarot so this could be something that you have been wishing and hoping for i feel okay and if it is a creative pursuit it is a talent or a gift that you haven't fully explored and you're revisiting that perhaps you um, really love doing it in your childhood and like I said it went to the wayside this is a time for you to really shine a light upon that and allow this path to bring forth um, you know this new side of yourself i feel which you haven't explored before which you haven't had perhaps the courage to really um take on you know in a full-on sense let's see your last card we have coyote spirit okay mischievous resourceful and thoughtful actions okay interesting There is something really, really alluring. If this is a person that you're dealing with, a connection, there is something so very irresistible, charming and alluring about this person. Even though you may not fully trust them, you may not, you know, you may have a lot of doubts with this person is what I feel. And that may be one reason why you've had these issues perhaps with this person. There is some unfinished business here definitely with the judgment and this whole theme of the past. Very interesting. And also with this um, coyote spirit here and the piper, this is... Uh, you know they may look intense and uh, seductive and alluring but this is an energy of being adaptable okay and being um, resourceful yes but a bit of a prankster this is like a playful clown like energy okay that you're either being called to adapt or it's the energy of the person that you're dealing with and so that may be one reason why again you're overthinking the situation or your your heart is leading you in one direction but your mind is telling you i'm not really sure you know that sort of a thing but with all of this passionate energy here with the ace of wands and judgment and the five of wands this is um definitely heart driven okay so your mind may be telling you to do one thing the most logical thing but there is something else that is so strong a pull a it's so intense and so strong that you're you just can't help it you know you want to move in that direction and that is what i feel you're doing okay I would say be careful of we, we don't have like the six of cups energy here but just be careful of not repeating things from the past you already learned this lesson you've already been through what you needed to to see something very clearly okay and 
you want to make sure that you don't overthink things and at the same time you're not being sucked into or pulled into a a repetitive kind of a lesson or a cycle okay uh, you want to drop that burden right now to move away from that okay and be playful that's another message that is coming through very strongly especially when it comes to exploring your creative pursuits your ideas your inspirations you know what your heart is desiring for you to move into the direct the direction that your heart is taking you into be playful about it and be adaptable okay like the coyote spirit and there can be a little bit of drama around you some people may be even trying to mislead you in some way like the piper <laughs> but keep your wits about you and at the same time you know uh remember the lesson is what i'm hearing remember the lesson okay very interesting it's going to mean different things to, for different people but i do feel like for many of you this has something to do with a relationship um which either has you know the flavor of the past or it is uh, revisiting a relationship from the past okay in some way or a person what do we need to know for relationships and love life for group number 2 get one more <laughs> bottom of the deck we have new love we have here speak the language of love loving words have the power to change lives including your own the piper is really good at that okay he's a bit of a sweet talker in my eyes we have the love in dios love does not give up or lose faith love is hopeful and withstands every situation love who you are you are divine delightful and deserving of the wonderful things life has to offer so don't settle i would say and secondly um going back to that previous message if there has been some strife in a connection some heaviness some burdens you're able to move past that okay this is the third ship or boat that is showing up here you might even uh consider or think about taking uh on a journey okay wanting to move or travel for this purpose okay whether that is a relationship or uh, an opportunity that you're taking up okay so those are your messages group number 2 i hope this helps and i hope you have a lovely week ahead take care god bless bye bye hi group 3 for those of you who were drawn to this carnelian let's take a look at your reading So what does group number 3 need to know? Let's pull out some Lenormand cards. What does group 3 need to know? We have the rider. The heart, okay. Getting some love messages or communication or someone's coming to visit you perhaps. Someone close to your heart. Okay. Oh and we have the coffin and the fox interesting Okay We have the lily here So I'll just put this out there okay um 
a similar message has come up for another pile as well this may be a situation that you thought had ended which is now being revived and very similar to the flavor of another uh, pile that you may have been drawn to this could be you hearing from someone who you may have ended things with okay and it is someone that is a bit foxy in the sense that you uh, are a bit doubtful about this person they may not uh, you know they may appear to be a certain way which they are not actually in other words they are a little, little bit of uh, a deceptive character or this is someone who you don't trust okay um take things at face value all right and with a grain of salt is what i'm hearing the other i feel like that is the most prominent message here okay there is a connection a relationship that may have ended or yeah it it's just in the past okay and you're hearing from this person or you may want to reach out to them as well but you're not too sure about how they'll receive this communication or this message and we are in mercury retrograde so these kind of messages are quite common okay uh because it is about revisiting reviewing re assessing um <laughs> so let's see what your tarot card suggests we have a six of swords queen of wands and the seven of wands okay For some of you you may actually be now in the process of putting an end to this situation. You may be dealing with someone who's like really fun, flirty, you know, like the life of the party kind of Casanova-ish kind of person who gets a lot of attention, who's uh, perhaps in the limelight in some way or you know i'm getting this very very flirty vibe from this person very attractive but for some reason um like they hard to get through to okay or they are somebody that you can't really um trust at a deep level okay So for some of you you are deciding to actually move on from this situation okay and it is uh, a means to defend yourself it is a means for you to take back your power for you to not give it away to the situation anymore and for others of you like i said this could be um the return of this person into your life okay someone wants to perhaps move on from the past they want to resolve things with you they want to you know uh they want you to lay your guards down but you are guarded for good reason i feel because there's something about the situation or this person that you feel really doubtful about okay and uh, even though there is a lot of attraction here there is seduction is a flirty vibe there's a lot of chemistry is something that is not quite in place okay you may not be on the same page about a certain um topic it could be commitment it could be anything else okay but you feel like you need to defend yourself you need to guard yourself your energy and protect yourself from this person okay that's what i'm feeling let's see your other cards here and if this is not about a person this is about you moving in a direction that 
makes you feel empowered okay no longer putting up with things that uh, don't serve you at the very least and things that pull you down is what I'm getting okay either people situations or places that that are like there's too much effort too much work going into it you know too much friction or you may have like cyclical arguments where you know the same kind of situation plays out over and over again and you're sick and tired of that and you're like i just want to move on from this because it doesn't empower me it, it sucks my my life force my energy and i feel drained so it's too much of a fight you know i want to i want peace that's the lilies okay um i want tranquility and if that's not what i'm getting here i want to work my way through it or i want to just simply drop it and move on let go of that situation okay yeah we've got the soul shrinker this is for many of you self criticism self doubt self pity okay those kind of habits and all of us have these mindsets which creep up from time to time sometimes they can be so overbearing that we feel like we're not capable of anything okay and that may be a blockage that is coming to the surface this week because the six of swords is connected to the mind to your mentality your psyche your um uh, mental diet okay you may be focused this week on how do i feel more like myself you know like this bold assertive queen of wands how do i move on from mindsets that make me feel small or even situations and people that make me feel small and insignificant because i'm not that person right so you're moving on from from whatever shrinks your soul basically and whether that is self doubt or people who are you know consuming too much of your energy or doubting you or trying to pull you down like i said you're making a firm decision to put an end to those situations okay we have your home sweet home your home and family matters require your attention and tender loving care we have the tribe so this again is connected to the home and family issues and that's in focus for you this week and we have to be fair number 38 so this is all about balance about this is a libran energy for me you know giving and receiving maintaining a sense of balance um truth honesty as well making decisions from a place of honesty and truth and fairness looking at the facts very clearly there are certain people around you or a particular connection in which you feel like you're being deceived in some way okay either they're taking up too much space okay or they are pulling you down maybe in subtle ways that you know like offhanded sort of comments or um <laughs> compliments which are not actually compliments you know that sort of a thing so that's what you're being really mindful of this week who really belongs to my tribe and who doesn't and it doesn't have to be literally blood family okay it can be just generally connections but most probably these are like partnerships or one on one connections in which there is some kind of an imbalance that is coming to light and you're putting your foot down this week saying no i am this queen of wands okay i am this goddess of my reality and i don't want this in my reality i want to move on from this situation and i believe in what i believe in and i'm going to fight for it but if it's too much of a fight you know um 
maybe it's a battle I don't want to be involved in anymore because the seven of wands is like you being in a battle or needing to defend yourself needing to stand your ground and the six of swords comes after the five of swords which is conflict ridden again petty arguments and pettiness and immature behavior you're moving on from that i feel okay this week you're realizing also who is worthy of being in your tribe and who isn't we have dear spirit compassion gratitude and unconditional love so most probably i'm talking to an empath i'm talking to someone who um gives a lot in condition in unconditionally gives in connections and you may be a water sign but doesn't have to be i feel like you're someone who tends to put others before them and that can lead to situations in which you're definitely taken advantage of but another message to pay attention to here is to be compassionate towards yourself to love yourself unconditionally the fox spirit can also be about you know having that kind of an imposter syndrome like i am not good enough or i am this is too big for me or i don't have the confidence to maybe stand up for myself you know who am i to demand or command such a thing who am i to want such a thing those are the kind of doubts and self talk and negative uh, mindsets that you're deciding to move away from but there is an emphasis here on people as well the the way that certain people have affected you is quite negative and that voice that may be running through your head is not even your own you know that opinion that you perhaps have of yourself is not your own so let it go and choose to see yourself through the eyes of unconditional love and compassion and if there are certain people around you who are like that as well i feel like you're coming you're coming to understand them and see them for who they are without judgment and through compassion okay like i know where they're coming from so but at the same time i need to protect my energy as well and not allow them to overpower me in any way okay or not allow their opinions to become my own opinion of myself or my assumptions about myself and about life in general okay let's see what do they need to know in terms of love and relationships group number 3 so you may actually be putting an end to certain relationships or connections that don't serve you anymore or in which there's a lot of backbiting perhaps or which just you know people may be just self interested like to the extent where um you're wondering what their re- motivations are really okay what their intentions are towards you some of you could also want to take a break go on a short trip or a journey perhaps by yourself or with certain people who feel like home to you you know and that's where a lot of this clarity comes in you're able to see things uh, for what they are So we have rest and relaxation is essential. We all have a fundamental need to take a break. Speak the language of love. Loving words have the power to change lives including your own. And there's one more. We have like attracts like. 
if you long for more love be more loving and lastly we have treasure your loved ones it is important to love others deeply i feel like in your case this focus is on yourself speaking to yourself with love with compassion with kindness go easy on yourself and you know there's no shame in admitting that you may have this imposter syndrome or you may be unkind towards yourself it's so common a lot of us um have that inner critic which is which can really take over sometimes right and stop us from doing the things that we love but what is being reflected back to you as well maybe somebody says something you know passes a comment or something that is unkind what is being reflected back to you is your image of yourself is your self concept so rather than you know getting into an argument or battling with this other person look at the way you talk to yourself in your mind is that what is reflecting back to you then that is where the correction need to, needs to take place and be kind to yourself during this process this is not easy um but it is going to lead to change it is going to lead to in our transformation okay and uh, yeah embody this queen of wands energy that's where you want to be right so those are your messages group number 3 i hope this helps and i hope you have a wonderful week ahead do take care of yourself and i'll see you again later bye bye